Good day everyone, my name is Tara Panuelov. This is my vlog report in International Business and Trade given by Mr. Emil Clores. The topic we will discuss today is all about the World Trade Organization history. But before we start, let's watch this. agreements signed today have brought into being a World Trade Organization, a new energy source for the world economy, one which will charge the economic and political links among nations with a new vitality and a new hope. More than just a trade agreement, this is an agreement for global cooperation based on the recognition that our common human interests transcend our diversity. semiconductors or telecommunications equipment, computers, computer equipment, software. The same opportunities to the instrument of information and knowledge. We are capable of making use of trade rules and agreements to take care also of humanitarian elements. We take it that the decision can be adopted. It is. For the first time in our history, the WTO has truly delivered. Liberalization, economic integration, and attraction of foreign direct investment. We must make sure that resources for development can truly help the most vulnerable. We want to hear and we want to learn from all of you. We stand at the threshold of a golden age of global economic growth, made possible by the high degree of multilateral cooperation. We are strengthening our engagement with the World Trade Organization because of its importance to our economy. But what I will not accept is that somehow this is not a democratic organization. We will continue to press for open markets. Europe will continue the path of agricultural reform we have embarked upon. I also propose that ministers take note of the understanding regarding the duty-free, quota-free decision so agreed. LDC-specific issues were underlined as needing particular attention. WTO is part of the solution of the crisis. If you are collectively determined to keep protectionist pressures at bay, the ministerial conference so agrees. <laughs> Bali has given a new morning to the World Trade Organization.
The question is, what is the World Trade Organization? According to the World Trade Organization, the World Trade Organization is the only global international organization dealing with the rules of the trade between nations. Its main function is to ensure that the trade flows as smoothly, predictably, and freely as possible. And now, I will tell you the history of the World Trade Organization. The World Trade Organization began life on January 1, 1995. But its trading system is half a century older since 1948. The general agreement on tariff and trade had provided the rules for the system. World Trade Organization was designed to be an actual institution charged with the mission of promoting a free and fair trade. As explained on its website, the World Trade Organization is the only global international organization dealing with the rules of trade between nations. The goal is to help producers of goods and services, exporters and importers conduct their business. The past 50 years have seen an exceptional growth in the world trade. Merchandise exports grew on an average of 5% percent annually total trade of 2000 was 22 times the level of 1950 general agreement tariff and trade and the world trade organization have helped to create a strong and prosperous trading system contributing to unprecedented growth so the main purpose of the World Trade Organization is to serve the negotiating forum for the member nation to dispute, discuss, and debate trade-related matters. More than just a series of trade agreements, as it was under General Agreement Tariff and Trade, the World Trade Organization undertakes discussions on issues related to globalization and its impact to people and the environment, as well as trade-specific matters. It doesn't necessarily establish formal agreement on all of these areas, but does provide a forum to discuss how global trade impacts other aspects of the world. According to the General Agreement on Tariff and Trade, they had provided the rules for the system. The second World Trade Organization ministerial meeting held in Geneva in May 1998 included a celebration of the 15th anniversary of the system. The last and the largest general agreement tariff and trade round was the Uruguay round, which lasted from 1986 to 1994 and led to the World Trade Organization creation. The general agreement in tariffs when trade had mainly dealt with trade in goods. The World Trade Organization and its agreements now covered trade in services and in trade in inventions, creations, and design. The World Trade Organization creates and embodies the ground rules for global trade among member nations, offering a system for international commerce. This means the World Trade Organization rules become part of a country domestic legal system. That's all. Thank you for watching.